Hey everybody, it's Tiny Green here at the Hoop Group. Been a little bit under the weather, so my blog here is a little bit late in coming, but it's here. The Boardwalk Showcase delivered in every way this past Sunday. One, college coaches galore from every level. I believe every conference on the Northeast was represented this weekend. We had coaches such as Vivian Stringer, uh, Mike Bozeman from GW University, we had coaches from St. Bonaventure University, we can go on and on. Everybody was in that building on Sunday afternoon. The star of the show, no doubt about it, was the Neptune versus Christ the King game. Unfortunately, this game got off to a bad start for nationally ranked Christ the King. Christ the King, who every year comes rolling into New Jersey, I have a lot of respect for Coach Mackey for doing that, and he comes and plays the best teams in the state, which reside in the Shore Conference. He's been 0-4 over the last few years, but I guarantee you Coach Mackey comes back. He ran into a absolute buzzsaw. Cy Davis was at her absolute best on Sunday. When she puts everything together, there's maybe no better two guard in the state. Vivian Singh Stringer and her assistant coach, associate head coach, Colleen Mitchell both sat and smiled the entire afternoon. Cy Davis is one of the best players to wear a uniform in the Shore Conference. For some reason, we do not put that title on her, but she is. She's one of the best. Shakina Richardson was a usual brilliant self in that type of game where the game got out of control so quickly, so fast, it was really not a whole lot uh, for Shakina to do other than run her team. Now the other games were more interesting. The Rumson versus St. Rose game was terrific. Diana Malenka contended, continued her assault on the Shore Conference against RBC Three nights earlier, Diana Malenka put on an absolute show. A show, people. If you missed it, you missed a grandstand performance. Malenka scored, passed, rebound, defended. The only thing she probably didn't do was sell popcorn. And there's no proof that she didn't do that against um, uh, a tough RBC team as well. The bad part about this game for me was we all want to see the Sam Costello, Sam Clark matchup. And this is a reoccurring theme now. First play of the game, Sam Clark got called for a foul. I just got to be honest, it was not a good call. Two minutes later, Sam Clark is on the bench. She is, she's being rotated in and out. And we never got a chance to see Sam versus Sam. I think that's what everybody wants to see, and we were deprived of that. And then at the end of the game, the game just ended on a, on a just a, you know, suspicious call. We'll leave, it, we'll leave it at that. But back to the boardwalk. Rumson, unfortunately, is in a bad slump right now, late in games. It appears they cannot close out games right now. And again, their spotty defense reared its ugly head against St. Rose as they allowed Chase and Casey Chambers to be free for a wide open three to, make, to break their back late in the game. Now we move on to the Point Borough game. Deny Kelly Hughes, deny Kelly Hughes, boxing one on Kelly Hughes, boxing one on Kelly Hughes, and what happens? Jess Massey, the underrated sophomore, explodes and has a great night of basketball at Battle of the Ball. She is terrific. The player that's, and by the way, Jess Massey was MVP of that, of that game. But the player that everybody's missing the boat on right now is the other, is the other Hughes, Lauren Hughes. She's good all day, every day. She's been tremendous this season so far. And then of course, our last game of the night, St. John Vianney versus Piscataway. Let's talk about the grandkid. Kid's one of the best players in the state. Gonna be a superstar one day at the collegiate level. That's my quick wrap up on the Battle of the Boardwalk. You can read more about that on my blog. But there's some things that I wanna talk about. I'm gonna need my cheat sheet here. Ready? Najee Carter, Carter. Najee Carter from Neptune High School. An absolute stud, a mini Shakina Richardson. People, she makes Neptune completely unbeatable when she's playing well. Now, for those of you who think this was, was a shot, you're wrong. She did the same thing against Teaneck a week earlier. The kid is playing lights out. She had 10 points the other night versus RBC, and she, no doubt, is a major factor. 
college coaches were doing dances over this kid. She's going to be another star for, for Coach Brown. Then I want to talk about Kelly Haspel. Kelly, coaches love you. They love you. We had one coach who wouldn't leave the building until he got a chance to speak to Kelly Haspel. We're happy. Kelly, guess what? More coaches are coming. You're that good. And then, oh, my favorite story of the night, Ashley Stefanelli. Now, college coaches, I'm going to sit up for this. Get over and see Freehold Township play. You want to steal? I got one for you. Ashley Stefanelli. Remember I told you about Sharky? You didn't listen. She's starting for Buffalo, kicking tail. Remember I told you about Panky? She's going to be the player of the year in the uh, NEC conference. These are kids that are under the radar that people miss, and then they come back to bite you in the backside. Guess what? Ashley Stefanelli. Go get her. I'm telling you now, she's an absolute stud. And for all those coaches asking me, hey, Tiny, who's that big girl walking around? Yes, that's Ashley Stefanelli, and she's a guard. All right. And then the last thing I got on my list tonight is very important, officiating. We got to get great officiating on these big games. It just has to happen. Too many times the officials are playing a heavy role in these games, and they should not. Well, Battle of the Boardwalk will resume next year. This year was great. I'm still under the weather, but I'm still going to get out there and see some games this week. I know that uh, the Shore Conference is heating up now, and we'll get to more important games in the league as we roll on through the next few weeks. Tiny Cream at the Hoop Group. Hope to talk to you soon.